Photoelectric effect. Let's begin with a simple question. If light is just a wave, can it really kick out electrons from a metal surface instantly? Surprisingly, yes. But only if it has the right frequency. This is the heart of the photoelectric effect. Introduction. The photoelectric effect is a phenomena in which electrons are ejected from a metal surface when it is exposed to light, which is electromagnetic radiation, of sufficiently high frequency. This effect was first observed by Henrik Hertz in 1887 and later explained by Albert Einstein in 1905 using Planck's quantum theory. It became one of the strongest pieces of evidence that light behaves not only as a wave but also as a stream of particles, which we call photons. Experimental observations. Imagine shining light on a clean metal surface, let's say potassium. You connect it further to a circuit so that electrons, if they are ejected, a current will flow. And here is what was observed. First is instant emission. Electrons, they are ejected immediately when light of sufficient frequency falls. There is no time lag. Second one is threshold frequency, mu naught. For every metal, there exists a minimum frequency below which no electrons are emitted, no matter how intense the light is. For potassium, mu naught is equal to 5 multiplied by 10 to the power 14 hertz. Now let's talk about the effect of frequency. If nu is less than nu naught, there will be no emission. If nu is more than nu naught, electrons are ejected with kinetic energy that increases with nu. Effect of intensity. Increasing intensity increases the number of electrons ejected, which is photoelectric current, but does not increase the kinetic energy. Research Goal. At Research Goal, you will find research-driven courses that offer real research skills, data analysis training, and publication support. And best of all, it is incredibly affordable, costing less than other platforms. Join Research Goal today for free. Check out the link in the description box. Failure of Classical Physics. These observations contradicted classical wave theory. According to classical theory, light is a wave, and in that, energy is spread continuously. More intensity means more energy, so electrons should eventually be ejected even with a low frequency light. But experimentally, no electrons appeared below threshold frequency no matter how bright the light is. Kinetic energy depends on frequency, not on the intensity of the light. Clearly, classical theory failed. Einstein's quantum explanation, 1905. Einstein proposed light consists of discrete energy packets called photons. Each photon has energy which is E is equal to H nu, where H is Planck's constant 6.623 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 34 Js and nu is the frequency. When a photon hits a metal surface, it transfers its energy to an electron. Part of its energy is used to overcome the work function W0, which is the minimum energy required to liberate an electron. If E is equal to H nu, which is more than W0, this extra energy appears as kinetic energy of ejected electron. Thus, H nu is equal to W0 plus kinetic energy, and kinetic energy is equal to H nu minus H nu0. These equations are really important, and I've seen in exams a lot of MCQs from this particular topic, which is photoelectric effect.